Morning everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to doodle drinks. Cheers. Okay, the first thing water glass is to basically just circle turned up on its edge made into a cylinder. Best to keep try and keep the top ellipse similar to the bottom ellipse, but uh, since we're cartooning, we're doodling, uh, a little bit of uh, wonkiness is okay. So right now you basically just, all you do is change the dimensions. So let's give ourselves a little eyeball glass, tumbler, Uh, let's make a let's go with the uh, little beer mug and keep leave a space little ellipse little ellipse bloop bloop connect them up and then if you want to get really fancy let's put in some some of those crazy ridges all right so let's do a pint so now the difference with a pint, or at least the American pint glass, which is in the pint, uh, I think it's actually called a uh, shaker glass, um, is that the bottom ellipse is not as big as the top one. So we kind of kind of get an angle here, like that, right? So I think a pint glass would be this, get the bottom curve, and then we get these blo bloops that come off the side, wherever they're, they're the little bulges. Right? We can make uh, one of those, um, let's do a yard. But then you've got to put, uh, you know, some kind of support in here and then, you know, who, who has time, who has time to drink one of those, much less, at least now, at home. <laughs> put a stand in there, you, can, you know, fill it up. So. Once you've got your glass, if it's glass, you can kind of see through it. So we kind of deal with the thickness of the glass, right? And then the bottom curve. And then it gets kind of weird because glass is so see-through. So you can kind of see the back end of the um, of the back end of the glass's ellipse. So you get these start to get weird shadows and shapes. And then it gets even weirder when you start to fill it up with some kind of a liquid, right? So another cool thing. So let's let, we take that. Let's take that top ellipse, but not connect it at the top. And then we can start putting stuff in. So let's put a do a little thing here, a little jiggity jankity. Another ellipse here. Let's put some lines in here, and then. We connect it up, put some, something like this in there, make the glass a little bit deeper, let's even go deeper, and then kind of fill it up with, you know, some new stuff, whatever we got there, maybe it's ice cream, I think this, this could be a root beer float. So maybe there's some kind of a weird ice cream down here. How it kind of floats up. You can send your friends a uh, root beer float. Um, root beer float, float toast is actually pretty would be pretty good. So there we go. Uh, you can actually even if you want to make, put a handle on it, but without doing like what I did up here, kind of come down here and kind of fake it in. And then we can kind of make it like it, you know, like it can't like it cut through the glass, like that. So let's do something else where we leave that bot. Let's take this top, and then make a little ellipse here, like this, and then a bunch of like these, things like this, and then. 
Let's put a straw back here. And let's make the glass. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's uh, add some more stuff in here. Oh, we can take uh, what I did the other day, and let's do this. Uh, kind of a crazy. Crazy tiki mug thing. Put in a shadow. Maybe we'll give it a couple, couple more of these things that are coming around the outside. For your umbrella. Do some uh, things where we take a, you know, let's take an orange, make an orange wedge. ice cubes in there, drop the glass down, give myself a little shadow there, put it on a table, let's add a cocktail stirrer, since it's a solid line we didn't have to worry about you know adding that in, maybe put a cherry down here or something. Let's do a uh, another tiki kind of glass here. Let's put uh, put, a, uh, put the umbrella in. Let's go different size like this. Let's put uh, let's put a flower in there. Let's put a big stick that's sticking in there with. Uh, a bunch of grapes. You can put, um, let's see, and then let's make it look like it's a, a pineapple. Just fancy it up, you know? You're going to send somebody a uh, letter with a with some kind of a drink on it. Let's, uh, you know, fancy it up a little bit more. Put stuff, all sorts of stuff in the background. Imagine that you're on a beach. Put it in the sand. So, um, what are the clients? Oh, here's another good, here's another good glass. So let's, uh, got the ellipse. And then it's almost a triangle. To a tiny little stem, and then another big ellipse that kind of matches the top. Put a couple of little concentric circles in there, and then an, ol an olive, right? And then remember the thickness of the glass. Put in some liquid. There we go. Get a little bit of a thing, and then put some cross hatching there. There's your, there's your uh, martini, and a, uh, oh, then, of course, last but not least, let's get some wine going. So we got a big, kind of a ball, come down to the stem, and then that last ellipse, and then let's fill it in with, uh, let's uh, put in some liquid here, we have it spilling out. Come up here. So basically, glasses are cylinders. I start my day with my mug of coffee. 
Got a little steam. A little coffee in there. Could be cocoa. Could be really black tea. And then uh, we could just uh, put whatever you want on the mug. All right. Cheers, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully the sound turned out okay. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit, probably. And I'll uh, talk to you on the other side. Thanks. There you have it, folks. Some simple drinks to send your, for your friends a, uh, a happy toast. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can apply this to a postcard. And uh, my thoughts were is that I've heard heard my doctor say that one a day is a-okay so I'm good okay show you how it's going to work it's going to be uh, pencils inks colors so enjoy see you on the other side thanks okay here I get started with the pencils I'm using a 2b lead inside of a mechanical pencil pencil I've heard doctors say that one drink a day is a-okay. So I made the top into a little bit of a sign. There's my cylinder. My cartoon character is grabbing the gigantic cylinder. And I want the water, the, the, the beverage spilling out. Give him a big curve like he's really got leaning into that thing. A little bit of a self-portrait. So we're all good. And I thought, oh, I'll just throw in some butterflies, some flowers. A bird up there. Or a butterfly. There we go. Start off with 0.4 millimeter text inked in and for the AOK -okay, I switch over to the one millimeter so that it can looks a little bit bolder put some emphasis on that that text I wanted to make it look like a little bit of a wood sign drop shadow with the uh, 0.7 millimeter right into the ink and the bird I usually start off with the eyes because uh, I think if you mess those up, then the whole thing can kind of go downhill. Or it's just that um, it's just where I start. I don't think it's a right or wrong way where you start, but uh, for me, there's a lot of personality in the eyes, and that's really where it kind of comes out. Glass, some of the reflections. Flashing out, all sorts of drips, drips and droops. I have jeans in there. A little bit of cross hatching. I do come back in with the uh, 0.1 millimeter to do more cross hatching later. race now because uh, oh no <laughs> I guess I go in with the go in the cross hatching a little bit first sometimes I'll erase and that'll really give me a good idea of where I need to add some contrast and some extra stuff here's the eraser no postcard mishaps come in with the brush Cross-edge in detail. I'm going to separate out my, my front hand from the glass a little bit more. Give them a little bit more dimension. Make those flowers pop forward a little bit. 
comes the color. So that's uh, Baked Earth. That's the... Uh, I still think that's, at least for me, I'm, there might be some better, better colors, but for me, that's the best uh, Caucasian skin tone. When it's lighter, when it's watered down a little bit. Going with some oranges and yellows. I want it to make it... Uh, Imagining whiskeys and bourbons. I'm going with the red for that bird because I figure I'm going to put the uh, heart in red and that kind of brings your eye from the top to the bottom. It was bright blue for the shirt and it's the uh, like the sky blue that I use for the uh, jeans. That's willow I'm using to try and add some darks to the orange. Brown's really just, a brown is really just dark orange. That's a purple. I like how those flowers in the last video turned out, or two videos ago. Some green, or purple. All right, the waterworks. Trying to be careful that I don't uh, cross-contaminate too much. Unless, and then I've learned my lesson. I'm trying to remember to touch off to the side on a little piece of uh, paper towel. The red. I wasn't too worried about the red uh, bleeding down into the orange pieces just because of the, uh, the nature of those two colors being super warm. And since orange is a combination of red and yellow, it just makes it a little bit darker. Purple. Adding a little bit of uh, brown to that, to that sign. Here's the heart. I use a little bit of the red to give me some red cheeks. There we go. Finale. We're finished. <laughs> I've heard doctors say one drink a day is a okay. So we're good. All right, we're good. So it's just one drink. It's just one. So anyway, uh, please drink responsibly. Um, but uh, you know, uh, do whatever you, what what you need to do to get through the stuff we're going through right now. So anyway, uh, I hope I inspired you to uh, give it give uh, uh, a little doodle a shot and sending your friends some some long distance uh, hugs and greetings that isn't electronic, and uh, you know put a little bit of a uh, little bit of a uh, you know a little bit of love into an, uh, to a message to your friends. So love you all. Thanks again. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.